Hey guys, it's Tidia here. So today I finished collecting 11 out of 11 of the Fiend Divination card pieces. And what that gives is a Corrupted Header, which is here. And I got 5% skill effect duration. Could have been worse, could have been better, but I'll take it. And why I chose this item is because I think it's the most fun item you can be wearing in the game. So as you can see at the bottom, when you kill a rare monster, you gain its mods for 20 seconds. Now there is a similar jewel but that only gets you one mod and there are some restrictions but this one gives you all of the mods so I just want to show this item off with a demonstration of a temp change jungle valley map it's quite open so I won't have to do too much traveling and I can maintain the uh, the buff the buffs for a bit longer and temp change does affect this as well and I'm gonna pay for the nemesis mod on my Zana. that's an exalt and every pack is gonna have a rare and okay so we've got 36k DPS unbuffed and we're gonna try to see how much DPS we can get right here so 36k Now the idea is that you want to get you want to hit a haste pack so so that you're not slow down by your movement speed and then you can really just go go ham. And then you also want to hit a soul eater. So you can just kill all the monsters and get your damage up and just tooltip warrior as much as possible. So I've got 300,000 damage. This is with a split chain. Five hundred K. This is just absurd. Whoa. <laughs> and as you can see, I've got so many buffs that it just goes off the screen. I've got 200% life leech because when uh, some some of these mobs they have uh, life leech and it's actually a really high value. So you know leech has been nerfed. I guess you just need a head on her. And there you have it. Keep in mind this is a temp chains map, so after all the buffs are gone, I will be moving at normal move speed. But with all those all those buffs you don't really feel it and it actually becomes the curse becomes more of a buff. So yeah. Thank you.